there! It's been a while and I've had so many ideas that I somehow managed to make myself kind of overwhelmed and go on kind of like art block. And now I'm doing this painting which is kind of inspired by this amazing book that you just saw. And if you've seen my TikTok then you know that I've been reading a lot. And I didn't expect to get exp inspired by a book, I really didn't. So um, I kind of stopped all of the other ideas that I had and I put them all on hold and I started this drawing. So this book, The North of Beautiful, is what the painting is inspired by. Well, I mean, not completely, but kind of. I, in, I, was, I thought of this idea when I was kind of halfway through the book, so it's kind of my depiction of the book, at least in the beginning. Um, and it's just what I took from it, at least when I started. And while I was doing the paint, the drawing and the painting, I kind of kept reading the book, so it was kind of simultaneous. And I kept getting new ideas and stuff, but I didn't want to change the painting because I loved the idea that I had. So to give you more insight, I should explain that this amazing book by Justina Chen is just about a girl, is a, about a girl named Tara, the daughter of a cartographer and a very stern man who's very condescending and a housewife a very crafty one at that she bakes a lot and eats a lot which a wit time has managed to make her obese and it's one of the main subjects of her husband's condescension which is very sad and she went from a model to a, uh, to someone who was overweight and she eats her feelings because of everything that he says to her and it's very mean of him obviously so the book is split into three parts, which I see as before Jacob, after Jacob, and freedom. So you're probably wondering who Jacob is. I see him as Tara's door to the world she belongs to, like a world with questions and answers and uh, art and uh, her beautiful port wine stain and, uh, and her face without makeup. And during the first part, you see her world with her boyfriend who just doesn't really know her or notice her and she hides behind her art and she doesn't show it to anyone because she doesn't think it's good enough because of what her dad says about it like he just keeps calling it oh it's collages you're not gonna make any money off of that and so the first step that she takes to like her rebelliousness is when she goes and gets a laser surgery after her father says that she doesn't want to waste any more money on her birthmark and so she goes on a drive and she goes to the big city nearby and she gets the laser surgery which obviously doesn't work because it's never worked before she just wanted to do something else and she runs into this guy and his mother named Jacob and both the this guy Jacob and her mother and his mother are like doors to Tara and her mother's freedom and after meeting them and a lot of planning one of Tara's brothers invites her and her mother to China which is the reason that it's like one of the countries that her dad refuses to acknowledge exists so it's kind of like oh you're going to this one place where he can never come so it's it's like you're running away to the perfect destination because you know that the thing you're running away from can never reach that and that's where they both of them Tara and her mother learn about these amazing women that they actually are and they learn their freedom and the world away from her father and um, so Tara runs into this girl at an at an or orphanage where um, she also has a port wine stain and the girl the little girl she's hiding away at the nursery because in the nursery there's babies and babies can't be mean to you about this giant mark on your face and she meets the girl and and then after she sees the girl hiding away, she has like a revelation. She runs to the bathroom and she takes off all of her makeup and she comes back outside and she looks at the girl and she shows the girl her face. Like she moves all her hair from her face, not hiding it anymore. And she looks at the girl and she's like, you are beautiful and I am beautiful. And it's honestly, it's amazing. It's such a beautiful scene to read about and I really can't explain it in words. Even though, you know, it's ironic because it's a book and you're supposed to explain it in words. But honestly, if you're even slightly interested in the story that I've kind of ruined by now, you have to read this amazing book. And so after they come back home from this trip that they've had all these revelations over in China, they come back and her mom takes the first step towards disagreeing with her father and standing and making her own ground, which is amazing because she hasn't done that in years and years. And it's 
it's really it's like it's amazing i i can't use any other words i don't know why so the reason i've chosen this is because it's a map and i mean it's um it's kind of like my map kind of it has nothing honestly related to my life except for like a very very small part so um so in the middle i've drawn like a regular compass uh thing which which you can clearly see so which you can clearly see and um around that i've drawn like these few separate parts so on the right top hand corner which is the northeast you see a door which is the entrance and on so this entire sorry i should explain the concept first this entire idea is based on something called vastu which is really big in um some parts of my culture and it's explained as the same it's like positioning everything to make it seem right so it makes all the energy around the house and coming into your home or your house very positive and it brings you luck and happiness and all these things and it's been kind of in my life ever since i was a child and i really didn't understand much of it until i did a little research for the painting so i just had like a really random idea one day about wanting to do this piece and i was just like i don't really know anything about this thing that i've been basing my entire like home structure and furniture around and i mean i did it because i knew on what side everything should go but i didn't know why or actually what should go like i would use a map and be like i know the door needs to be this way and the bed needs to look this way and all that but i didn't know all of it and it's very interesting i looked into it and so i started off with a drawing and then i snapped through and because i mean i did the drawing so you don't need to see me redraw it in pen and i did it with a little ink and then on top of that i'm using watercolor which i'm not really very good at i'm still learning probably not my favorite i i am a very acrylic person so i usually prefer that one watercolor is a little i don't know fidgety for my taste i think is the word I'm not sure so i'm using watercolor because i'm trying to like learn how to use it not for any other particular reason but i kind of like how it moves color very easily which would i i mean i like i love doing the exact same thing with acrylic but you can't like when you're doing it with watercolor you can you can't determine how the stain is going to turn out unless you literally make it dry in a particular way so i'll explain more in detail with um everything and why the colors are so but on the so on the northeast side you put your front door because that's where all the everyone should enter from and any good energy that you're getting it should come from there and on the southeast side you should have your kitchen and your sink should technically be facing a little more to the east and your stove more to the west i i think and so it you make your entire layout that way and on the west you should have your bedroom or the master bedroom which is where all the warmth and positivity remains like nothing goes out or in and it's good and you shouldn't have too many windows i think that's the the deal but i know it's good to have windows on one side of the house over the other and finally you have the northwest which is i think one of the a more negative side so it's somewhere where um like if you kept anything very positive so like you know like your prayer area or something where like your office or something it it kind of signifies the flying away of money and so i drew a couple of pennies because it's very little money i'm very bad at drawing coins but you, you know there you have it um and the moon which is like the night and the darkness and all that to signify the po- possible negativity even though i actually do really like the moon i don't know why i did it anyways and then so i'm just trying to paint all the i don't know what those are called but i'm just trying to paint all of them in opposite colors as to what they're facing so i did a little bit of the teal on the side of the teal is in there and you're always supposed to use light and happy colors like light blue um oranges uh pink peach brown you know all these very light tone colors which is what a lot of people do do their houses in i mean nowadays you see more cream and white and there are a lot of people who do actually do a lot of color okay so um this is it it's it's not the best it's really not one of my best works it's kind of bad actually but it is 
um, about this amazing book that I read and I have been reading a lot and I wanted to do something and I want to show you this really nice book and I think anyone who's even slightly interested in learning about how people gain their freedom from stuff should definitely read it. So this is the tiny map that I drew out when I was trying to research all of it and you can see how in the northwest there's everything that I wrote down and then the colors that go along and how I've done it and in the southwest how it says your bedroom should be there and all the colors and then I've chosen a color so you can see it like a little circle and underline and then how in the southeast you're supposed to have your kitchen and also your back door can be in the southeast I believe or at least that's the way we always did it because you know your back door is used in the kitchen and then finally you have your um, northeast corner which is the front door which welcomes positivity and i am so happy that i got to explain this concept and i think a lot of people should research and stuff anyways thank you for watching this tiny video of mine